welcome back. It is Sunday sit down time. With us now is LaDamian Washington, who's gone from West Middle School, coaching at West Middle School all the way to the Division I ranks. Now going to be the new wide receivers coach at Southern University. LaDamian, how, how did it all happen in, in such a quick amount of time? Honestly, you know, through God, honestly, you know, I think this last year, once drink hard me, things have gone full swing for me. Things have been coming at me fast and I you know I want to contribute that to drink you know trusting me and hire me on his staff so the, the opportunity to coach the receivers at Southern has been nothing but a blessing but it started with coach Drake hiring me here at Missouri. Well what, what does it mean to you to, to get the chance to coach a position now at the division one level in, in your home state of Louisiana? It means a lot you know growing up in Louisiana I am a true Louisianian as much as I like to uh, say that I am a true son here at Mizzou which I am and I hope Mizzou nation never forgets about me but it's always good to go back home to your roots where it all started I remember growing up around southern growing up um, around you know swag football um, honestly I thought those would be the places that I go and play my college football unfortunately I didn't receive a scholarship there but I went came here to Missouri and so me being able to return there means a lot to recruit Shreveport and bring you know kids from the 318 to the 225 I'm very excited we're gonna lock down Louisiana for sure well, I noticed, I looked up the roster at Southern University, not a single person from Missouri. Is that, is that going to change? You got anything up your sleeve? Hey, I might got something exciting up my sleeve. You'll see in the fall. I'm not going to, you know, say, you know, what it is right now, but I think it's going to take a lot of people, at least surprise them. But uh, definitely going to get some kids from Missouri uh, to uh, Louisiana if, if that's what our head coach won. And I know if there's kids here, the talent that we have here in Missouri, um, definitely it's that, that has that has to happen has to happen well, what excites you the most about getting to coach at an HBCU I think honestly that's what I grew up around I think you know the impact that the HBCUs right now um, and the history of it uh, you know back in the day Gremlin and Southern and HBCUs had more first round draft picks than some of the power five schools um, because of the tradition of it you know and I think that's what's great. You know, whenever you grow up in Louisiana, you know about the Battle of the Bands. You know about the conference. You know, you know, what it means to little kids like myself that's growing up that look up to the Southern University football players. And so it's huge for me. I'm, I'm, I'm greatly excited. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing in, um, a passion to it. Um, and to work my own room means a lot. Well, you just got uh, another uh, big-time recognition. The Chiefs selecting you for the Bill Walsh Diversity Coaching Fellowship. So you get to coach with the Chiefs a little bit this summer. What what kind of does that entail? Um, honestly, I get to go. Uh, Greg Lewis, who's the uh, receivers coach for the Kansas City Chiefs, he reached out. Um, we connected. He said he's very thrilled about me coming in and just honestly learning from him. So I can't wait to get in and just learn, you know, kind of just be on the fly on the wall, just soak up as much knowledge as possible. Um, you know, and I don't want to say just be a fly on the wall. I think that kind of came up. What I want to do is I want to go in and just be quiet, you know, and listen and learn and help out whenever I'm asked to help out. And so I'll get to work with the receivers and learn a lot from that offense, learn a lot from that coaching staff. So it's a great opportunity for me. You get to hang out with Andy Hill at all, you think? Hey, listen, Andy Hill is the reason, you know, one of the big reasons why I'm hearing this uh, right now as far as wanting to coach. Um, and he's, I'm sure he contributed a big, big role in me getting selected with the Chiefs. Coach Hill is a Missouri favorite. He's my favorite. Um, and so definitely going to hang out with him. That's a given. Well, you mentioned Coach Drink earlier in, in this interview, and uh, he gave you the opportunity to join the staff just last year. What, what was this last year like uh, getting to work with Drink and getting to, to come back to Columbia here and uh, coach Mizzou? It meant a lot. You know, I think Mizzou helped me grow up. Mizzou has taught me so much. The fans here are so passionate. Um, and so it's definitely a place I'll never forget. This will always be home. Uh, working with Coach Drink, he just has a, you know, a contagious energy about himself. Um, you, you see him all the time, and he's fired up, and he's like that all the time. You know, he's kind of a people's person, always got a smile or some kind of joke, and, you know, he, he makes it fun for you to want to be around him. And I think the whole coaching staff does that. Coach Bush Hamden, who I think is the, um, the best, you know, coach in the nation. I, I love Bush Hamden. He's my guy. He's my mentor. And, and honestly, none of this would be possible without him because he's a guy that I got to look at and, and model my coaching style after this past year and him just allowing me full access to him and picking his brain. Well, you've been a lot around the program the last year under Drinkwitz. Do you see any of what you guys maybe had in 2013, the special season, getting the SEC East Championship? Is that something that, that could be close now for Mizzou to get back to with Drinkwitz, maybe even this fall? I 
I think so. I think, you know, you never want to put expectations on it. You know, you just want to go in and work and, you know, let things lay as they, they, they fall. I think, you know, with Coach Drake and the staff that he's assembled, um, one of the better, you know, staffs in the SEC, if not the best, I think I mean, whenever you add the recruiting classes that he has put together last year, you add the guys that's already there with Connor Bayslack and all those guys coming back. You add a Mookie Cooper, a Dominic Lovett, who I'm super excited about. You got Ennis. Um, you got, you know, Trey John Jeffcoat coming back. That offensive line is stout, starting with Mike Mayetti. Um, they're just a good, good, solid team. Not only that, they're brothers. They have a great brotherhood that's going on inside that building. I've seen it before where, you know, the Mizzou team, the last time that won five games the year before, came back the next year and went to an SEC championship. Um, so I say the, the schedule aligns for that with the non-conference kind of starting off first and then before you get into SEC play. So I think whatever, you know, goals they have this year, um, they're, they're right there. They're very attainable. Well, you've done such a great job, uh, you know, outside of the football ranks here in Columbia. I mean, Missouri, definitely thankful to, to have you do all these charity events. And you've been working with Gary Pinkle, the GP Maid Foundation, as, as a board of director member. Uh, now that you're going away to Louisiana, are you still going to, you know, be a, a part of the GP Maid and still try to make an impact here in Memo? As much as I love GP Maid, I think, you know, for myself and my personal growth, it was time for me to kind of start my own foundation. So I've come up with this uh, foundation. I don't want to drop the name of it just yet, um, just because we're going through a lot of the paperwork right now. Um, with it being Mental Health Awareness Month, honestly, um, I was already kind of planning um, to either continue to pursue football or do nonprofit work um, fully. Um, I love coaching for sure, for sure. But I think, you know, with mental health awareness and everything that's going on, I think it's key and it's pivotal for our young men and our young women um, right now. Um, and so I'm in the process of starting my own nonprofit. Um, it's addressing mental and physical health. Um, I think it's going to be huge. It's starting right here in Columbia, Missouri. I was going to announce that at the end of this month. And so you just segued us right into it. And so we're looking forward to giving back to this community. I'll always give back to this community. I think, you know, Coach... Pinkle saw the way that one step forward and the, and the impact that it had. And once he saw that, you know, he started GP Main Foundation, which we're very fortunate for because at the end of the day, we just want kids to get helped um, and, and, and give them a hand up and not a hand out. Um, and so I'm very thrilled with the opportunity I'll forever give back. I've been um, pursued about an opportunity back home as well in Louisiana with being the face of a nonprofit and giving back. I think that's just a part of who I am and I'll forever give back. You've certainly meant a lot to the Columbia community, and, and Mizzou fans have, have, you know, loved you ever since you stepped foot on campus. W do you think uh, you, you'll ever return to Columbia? Uh, is, is that something that, that might be a goal of yours? And maybe something that Coach uh, Drink has hinted at? <laughs> you know, I think, you know, anytime you get a chance and you, you get to interview Coach Drink, just keep putting that in his head. <laughs> But honestly, truly right now, you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not looking at that opportunity, to be honest with you. My goal right now is to go down to Southern University and make it the best um, group there is. And so if, if, if I'm there for the next decade or 20 years, that's where my time will be spent. You know, I can't focus on coming back here to Columbia, Missouri. I'll always be back in some aspect because I'll always give back to this town, this community. My house is here. Um, but right now, my goal is to go down to Southern, um, be the best receivers coach possible and help that team win a SWAC championship. We'll finish with this. Are there any lakes around Southern University that, that Gary Pinkle's boat maybe makes its way out there and uh, you get to borrow it one of these days? To be honest with you, if Pinkle don't give me his boat by the end of this summer, I think I'm going to disown him. Um, <laughs> I think, you know, it's been a long time coming. Um, he may or may not be trying to, you know, take his boat to Florida. Um, but I'll, I'll say this, he's not getting out of Columbia without letting me um, ride on that boat. And honestly, I don't even want to ride on it no more. I'm going to drive it. And so if I'm not driving, no deal. <laughs> well, the stakes have just gotten higher. Well, Damien, I know you got a lot going on this weekend, so I really appreciate you giving us some time. Good luck at Southern, and uh, you know we'll be looking uh, to keep following you and uh, just keep on doing great things, man, because uh, you've been great to the Columbia community. Um, Louisiana is uh, lucky to have you back. Thank you so much, Andrew. It means a lot to me. All right, we'll be right back after this.